last year, from the in 19 to 22 kids that started on both sides of the ball are produced by the Eagles Youth Program. So we are seeing kids from sixth grade who are able to contribute as a middle school football player from day one, versus kids who show up in sixth grade who have never strapped on a football bat before, and by the time they figure out football at eighth grade, they're on the way to high school. So paying dividends, uh, paying dividends in the classroom, we had every kid eligible this year academically for middle school, whereas last year we lost five before the season started. So the fact that we're holding kids to a 2.7 GPA for Eagles, mm -hmm. this translates to middle school where they're only required at 2.0. So we're seeing the benefits in the classroom as well as on the field. And I think uh, also <coughs> in the class, the teachers will tell you that our kids' behavior is improving a lot in the classroom because we we hold to that thing as well as the, the young men, not just football players. So we're going to break the witness from the system. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, I'm a dad and I help with middle school and I help with the Warriors program. The reason that we're here for one is a couple reasons. One, the proclamation is great for us, but there's a couple of things that we need to do. What we're doing is we're taking 36 kids down to Plant City Saturday. We've been having programs that we're now doing about the drops. We've had all kinds of fundraisers. Wade is my son here, and he's one of the kids that plays on the middle school and then the War Eagle program at Nashville last year. Nashville is a great big program where they bring kids in all over the United States. Our kids get to go down and compete at a level they've never seen before. So when these kids wind up back to the middle school level, it's like, hey, hey this is easy for us. We can go in here and just have a good time because y'all can't believe how big this program has got. These kids this year, Middle school coach didn't like it. They had three football games in seven days. He was not excited about that. He got really, really irate about it. But our kids traveled. They had to go to Thomasville. We played Waco at Thomasville and I forget the next city in seven days. Um, so these kids are dedicated. They put the time in. They started from lifting weights and working out in June. So, you know, it's a really big kid program for these kids. So going back to that, the proclamation thing is a great thing. But what we've done is we got to feed these kids for seven. So the 36 kids for three meals a day, plus three to four, that gas goes down there. So my part of being here is that we're here with scrapping for some money. Individually, we'd like to ask you guys if you've got any campaign money left over, we can just get rid of it. All right, the county itself, you know, we, we're looking for any kind of money that can help. We've got people to donate money, so we're here. It's like I said, we're leaving Saturday, and all the plans are made, the rooms are ready, and you know, we're, getting, we're going one way or the other. But any kind of money that would help would be a great thing for us because we do believe that this program is really going to get bigger and stronger as we go along. Well, it is. It's just, it's, you just come out to practice some days and you can see it. These little tiny kids had a boy last week on the street and I 
it's not late 20, probably late 2021, but but Commissioner Moody and I have already signed it. Thank you. Thank you.
way more than I was doing. I think there's times that we allocate more of our funds in town. I think that that district has received more than their fair share of improvements and, and expenditures. So I think it's time that we put more money in town.
blanket request, and I, I think he would have a, you know, he's got a good argument because of the death along that road. Yes, ma'am. That would be great. If I may ask a question. Go ahead. Uh, Melody, um, so what, what program would potentially fund uh, the South Oklahoma contract? We can also submit that as a web planning request. You can you can turn right back around even though you submit the transportation alternative. We can submit all three projects that the board chooses to as a legislative budget request too. I think we should uh, submit all three to every uh, program that we can because I think that all three projects um, uh, are needed. So can we do that? We can do a legislative budget request. When you get to that part of your meeting today, just approve doing those three projects, and we can submit all three. And then we can do um, the other two time crafts and see how the other transportation alternative project. Okay, thank you. So, Mr. Chair, I'd like to make a motion that we uh,
already done, and I know acoustics was one of the major items that we had listed that needed, um, certainly needed to treat them.
the full-time versus camps versus the people that use it uh, a little bit? I believe what this particular study does is enable this board to be able to adjust the rate without placing a law through the litigation. So in respect to what the study is and what it does, is I believe it compiles statistical information that can be analyzed that also guide, gives guidance to the board so that it's not just a personal preference or a whim that would enable us or open us up to a litigation beyond measure. So,
just want to point that out in, in terms of um, CYA approach and, and taking those things. There's no guarantee there that, oh, well, gee, we've got a study, therefore we're protected and we can't be sued, that kind of thing. Okay. I'm not saying it's a
we discussed paywalls, that discussion was tabled. And I would like to um, consider placing that discussion on the January workshop so we can basically pick up where we left off. We yeah, well, let's do that then. I'll, not for next week. For so January. But in January. And let's just see, you know, if, if, if he says that wall is, is stable, that it's not going to fall in, and, and we don't have any kind of standards for the aesthetic of things, then that's the way it is. But I think it should be discussed. Well, not only that, but the ownership issue is uh, what needs to be discussed. Well, that's, you know, I'm not the subject of that right now, but, you know, I'm just concerned about that one wall. But if we need to discuss the fact that people want us to build them a wall, if that's what you're referring to, then that's something we'll have to have to discuss.